I'm Megan Palmer, and I have uh, invited these two friends over to help me this, with this interview this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> this is John Miller. Hi. This is Larry Cook. Hello. And what do you guys do in the band? Uh, anything I can do to not get fired. I play bass and sing harmony vocals and once in a while write out some string parts. What are you doing the Well, I kind of founded my band, <laughs> Megan Palmer and the Hopefuls, and um, I write a lot of the songs and I play a lot of the instruments and, um, you know, I play in a couple other groups too, so I try to keep a balance in my life. I'm usually right on how did how did this how did this project get started? Um, I was recording a, my first album, Forget Me Not, and I started realizing that I wanted to just play some of the songs live, and and I thought I'm gonna have a, a group of people that are willing to um, play my songs, and I, I set about finding them, and they kind of came to me, and it's been really wonderful. They, it's, it's, it's a gift to play with them. Do what I say. <laughs> <laughs> Not what I do. <laughs> and, and I've actually known Jen. So we were in choir together in college <laughs> at Capitol. So we go way back with singing together. And then Larry and I have been playing together for a few years now. We actually met through Jen. Yes. <laughs> is is this project any different than, than what you've done before? How does this fit into the Megan Palmer canon? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, I'm mostly known as a violin player um, in, in other bands. I play violin and then spike drivers or fiddle, whatever you call it, and in the Wahoos, and sometimes with Tim Easton and a bunch of other little things here and there. But it's, as a violin player, it's hard to um, write songs on the violin. So it, this is more of my own songwriting project um, that allows me to sing and kind of lead the band and kind of feature other musicians as, as, as it sort of fits together. In this world of loss and love, is it better to chase or be chased? What's the songwriting process like? Well, I spend a lot of time in my room, kind of staring at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I kind of catch lines as I go about my day, and I jot down lines on pieces of paper. And, and sometimes I, I put them together and it makes a song. Sometimes I just start from scratch and just see what comes to me. And I've been writing more lately about other people and um, things that are different. Like, I wrote a song about travel agents recently. And I've never been one, so I don't really know what it's like, but I kind of pretended like what it would be like to be someone's travel agent. That kind of thing. Just trying to change it up a little bit, different perspective. So, so how, um, when you go into writing a song and, and how, how often does the end product resemble what you set out to write? Hmm, that's interesting. I've, I've actually thought about that a lot. Because you might picture what something is going to be like, but then it's not the same. Um, it comes out completely different. Sometimes a little better. Sometimes you scrap it and, and save the ideas for another thing. You know, it, It's just like if you make a painting, you might think you know what it's going to look like when you start, but then there's something that changes the color. And it, it's something it evolves into something different at the time. Yeah, I try not to be too controlling, because um, I, the people I play with are so talented, I want them to put their stamp on what, I, what I'm doing. Like, if they can be inspired by what I'm doing enough to put their own 
take on it there, I'm very happy to just kind of give them the freedom to, to do so. Um, sometimes I'll have a song in mind for the band and, you know, I kind of write tunes that would be good for a band, you know, and then I have other songs, I've written a couple songs for the Spike Drivers that I think are Spike Drivers songs and that kind of thing, so, um, you know, I just try to let people be creative with what they're good at, and, you know, I try not to be too, too much of a control freak along the way. part about it is that we're all good friends though yeah you know I mean that's that's the important thing I think with the risk of sounding too cheesy is that we all really love each other yeah and that we just have a good time yeah well and Columbus has so many wonderful musicians and so many creative people it's it's fun when a few of us can actually get together and, and, and share what we do and kind of try to brighten up So where can people find your music? Uh, well, there is a lot of music online. Um, iTunes is, is, uh, has both of my albums, Forget Me Not and Take You Away. And um, also, Sunken Treasure Records is the record label that I'm on. And they have a website, sunkentreasure.org. And there's a little Sunken Treasure store where you can find stuff. And, um, you can also order a CD from that website if you don't want to download it. And um, there's, it's in some record stores. I, it's hard to keep up that inventory. Well, you forgot the most obvious. Come to a show. And we'll oh, you could come to a show. Yeah, I usually have <laughs> copies. And I'm making another record right now. Um, it's a Hopefuls record. And, We've been, I've been working on it at Jeff Kayampa's studio for about the last year. And that's hopefully going to come out in the next year, in 2009 sometime. Mid year is kind of my projected time. And um, any upcoming dates? Yes, we are playing at Dixton on January 3rd, first weekend of the year. Uh -huh. And February 6th at Rumba. And in Gambier on February 7th.